riding up around Rocky Hill here. coming out of that drain pipe there. path now. This is the side of it that comes out up at the uh, Montague farm. their own rails. <laughs> you barely move the handlebars and you get a lot of uh, you know input to your steering front wheels up there and you need to dodge a you know a limb or something fast, you know, or hang a curve kind of fast so you respond really well. This pass gonna have a lot of water on it.
be some water on this path, but I have no idea it would be this much. That just goes to show you how much it rained. I think uh, I'm trying to remember exactly how much rain it actually fell. It came down so much at one time. Heavy rain. I, it rained all day yesterday. I mean, and I and I'm talking about hard rain. It wasn't just uh, you know, it rained a little while and stopped. You know, it wasn't. It was a it was a rainstorm. A lot of wind. You know. Diamond back terrapin there. Yep, that's a small one. All right, dude, we'll leave you alone. I'm sure most of you know the difference between a terrapin and a turtle a lot of people get them confused you know or don't know what a terrapin is but terrapins have a more domed shell sits up higher and they tend to be tend to be smaller turtle has a more of a flat shell and uh you know tend to get uh, bigger and uh just from my experience i'd say uh, your turtle your average turtle is more aggressive behavior than a terrapin. I actually, when I was a kid, I actually had a, a diamond back terrapin like that one back there. It was a little bit bigger than that one. I actually had it as a pet for a little while at my granddad's house. And, uh, we would feed it. Uh, my granddad had a garden. And we would feed it cantaloupe rinds and tomatoes, you know, things like that uh, out of the garden that, you know, we weren't uh, eating. And uh, that, that terrapin, he, well, he loved them cantaloupes and tomatoes and cucumbers, whatever you gave him in there, you know, in this cage, boy, he ate it up. That old cow shed. Kept that uh, I kept that terrapin for a whole summer. I was just a kid, you know. I found it over there at my granddad's house, and uh, but uh, yeah, and I think at the end of that summer, if I remember right, I let him go. We would still see him come up in my granddad's garden from time to time. He'd come up there and be eating on tomato peelings and cantaloupe rinds and things like that that had been thrown out there. So he stayed in the area. He remembered how good he was fed <laughs> while he was in captivity. You know. Most of your average turtles, your box turtles, snapping turtles, they're not going to make a good pet. You know. They'll try and bite you. They uh, tend to be aggressive, but the terrapin I had, it never tried to bite me one time, but I had it. That was good.
imagine the old water hole coming up up here will have a right much water in it from all the rain should have filled back up Doesn't have no problem with it though. I'll tell you one place I'd really like to see today is I'm not gonna be able to get down there to it because uh I think if you remember me saying last week, all the trails over there on the gas line, you got to ride down the side of the highway part of the way on the roadbed to get to it. And uh, the grass, the state has let the grass grow up real tall, and there's a lot of you know a lot of hazards on the side of the road, you know that you can't see in that tall grass. And, I just don't want to risk, you know, flipping over in that ditch, you know, because I can't see things, but anyway, you know, the uh, if you look at some of my earlier videos and where we crossed the uh, creek crossing over there at the gas line called the Ford, I bet that thing's got a lot of water going through it right now. It's probably pretty deep, too. A buddy of mine said that... Uh, he had been down there before in years past after, you know, a rain like we had yesterday. And uh, he said that you know, there was so much water going through there that if you'd have set down in it, it'd have swept you away in the current. Now we're back on the railroad. I'm just riding down Linwood's path now pretty wet as you can see keeps on going down that ways uh, a little ways but uh it dead ends uh, it's gonna go up in this cut over here see what some of these paths look like
tire of that limb's scratching my fender every time I come through here. I'll take care of that right now. Supposed to go straight over into that little cutover right there, but on that other side over there, I haven't mowed that path down with the bush hog yet. I'm just gonna go on the turn around here. A bunch of tree limbs in the way too. I got to move out of the way. This whole area right in here, I got to work on. I gotta clear those logs and stuff out of the way so it's easier to ride through there. these trails up in here, in this cut over here, they never really got a name officially. They just, I think most people didn't really even know about them back in here. I knew about them, you know, most of the people that ride around here don't, you know, don't even know they're back here. Probably just as well though, but you know, that, man that uh, used to own this land, he made all these back over in here. He did a real good job with them. I mean, it, you know, it looked a lot better naturally before, you know, the logging company came in here and did this, but I think pretty much all of the original paths are still open back in here for the most part. Maybe with the exception of about two of them, I think. I think two of them are, uh... Not, uh, open anymore now. Due to brush, you know, debris left behind. And crossing Montague Creek. Now this is upstream here. Boy, that's sandy right there, ain't it? Yeah, this is Montague Creek upstream here. In fact, just up the way there, um, I don't know, maybe a couple of hundred yards is the uh, drain pipe that goes under the railroad for uh, Montague Creek. So this end right here, this particular spot, it's not hard to cross it. It's always pretty solid down in here. Somebody put some brick down in there, kind of makes it solid in the bottom. That was a good thing.
Montague Pond, or one of them here on the Montague Farm. Probably one of the biggest ones, you know, you've seen it in earlier videos, but this is the uh, spillway here. It's got two pipes in it. You can see they're gushing water out pretty strong there. But it actually, both of those pipes are actually stopped up kind of bad. There's a lot of debris right there in front of each pipe. So that's not not such a good thing. It actually uh, the water spilled over the dam up here in several places and actually kind of eroded it away. This is one of the bad places right here. All right through in here it washed down the bank there. And the actual creek that flows out from where that drain pipe up there is, you can, I don't know if you can make it out, but the water flows down there, and that's the uh, remaining part of, you know, Montague Creek there. Somebody told me it's a natural spring down there and somewhere in those woods there, but I ain't never been able to find it. I'm not going to try during this time of year either. here this is literally just a shortcut to the uh, barnyard area there on the Montague home place I don't know if I've ever ridden up, uh, rode up it before in one of my videos I'm kind of thinking that I haven't but anyway comes up right on the back side of the main barn and stable area say the least torrential rainfall yesterday
trying to get over here a little closer. You can see this is the pipe I was talking about there. Comes out from under the railroad. Montague Creek comes in from that side. It's a huge pipe and uh, goes up under there and spills out and feeds the rest of the creek down that way. Usually when you come through here, you never actually see it flowing. It's just usually pooled up like right in that area, but it's enough water today uh, still that it's uh, still flowing right much. stand path you see the water running down the path here which is right there because I came drove by there earlier when I was going down the railroad and it I could see it had water standing in it everywhere so I know it would be real muddy I'm going to skip over that one today trench that out a couple of weeks ago it is letting that drain better because if I hadn't have done that that water would probably be all the way across this path right here in this section so 
it's flowing down there to the creek, down that drainage ditch, which is good. standing up on this end. Yeah, another little diamond back terrapin there. <laughs> They're out everywhere today. Yep. He's just chilling out in the water there. up here is a lot uh, more wet, soft, you know. Probably the worst place of it back there is a little, little bit of spinning going on, but not enough to stop you from moving.
like much cooler too. It was almost like a well, you know, like a five, at least a five degree temperature drop from where we just were. path right back there takes you up <laughs> right where that big mud hole is before you come to that old church that I've mentioned before in some of the videos actually will put you out right back on the uh, tall tree stand path That up there is the end of the railroad before it will cross the highway. We're going to turn around. ever shown y'all that or not this is a piece of an old uh, cross tie railroad tie whichever you want to call it uh, from the old railroad that used to be here nationally is rotted in two actually still has a spike an original railroad spike in it <laughs> How about that pretty good still intact too sitting right down in there just like that But yeah, up and down this railroad here along the sides, you'll find pieces of, uh, of old railroad uh, ties, you know, that where they took the track up, they just tossed them to the side, you know. And even after all these years, you know, it's taken, uh, taken that time, you know, for them to, uh, most of them, you know, have rotted in two or rotted away, but there's still some of them that, pieces like that right there, and, some bigger pieces than that even that are still hanging around believe it or not but uh this is like the second railroad spike that I've found I've actually uh, this one is actually in better shape than the other one was anyway I just thought I'd show you that in a wet section here on wheels path just kind of exploring around down here Seems like this path's got a lot of water in it too. got right much water in it.
probably some water. This is part of the uh, upstream of the new creek right here. Yeah. I figured it would be some flow to it. Actually, got a little depth to it too right here. This right here, you know, ties in with the old creek, but this is the new creek path upstream. And as I've said before, this was a uh, this was part of Wheels Path right here, but unfortunately, this is as far as you can get on it now. It used to kind of snake its way around the edge of these trees following this new creek and then tied in with the old creek path down there at that culvert but and all this brush here I mean you can see I, you need a some kind of heavy equipment to move all that out of the way so that uh, the path could be opened back up that's unfortunate you know because it was one of the uh, more unique paths uh, that was back here. Trail, you know. Has a, the main feed for it is coming from that direction there and then you have this little uh, brook or you know just a little stream of water coming down from that direction up there where the land is draining and it ties into it crosses the path here Not exactly sure, you know, whether or not the uh, the new creek here, if it is fed by a natural spring or what, you know, I, um, it actually starts somewhere up the way up here, or it may just be, you know, the drainage water from the land, you know, that it drains has formed that creek, I'm not really sure. I know this right here is awful soft, but... That recon seems to be handling it okay. Shifted the first gear to try and reduce the wheel spin a little bit. I try not route it out any more than I have to. it back to the railroad. Uh, 
hood is just flying off those tires. That's that old black ground. They get on your tires, it sticks to them real bad. creek here this one doesn't really have a name it's not connected to the new creek or old creek at all this is actually at the bottom of rocky hill here rocky hill right up top up there That right up there is what I used to call Bel Air Road. I've got a gate up there right now. I'm trying to keep people out of there because it's so wet. You remember from some of my earlier videos when I rode up there that you got a, like a big uh, like middle way of the path is uh, like a huge water crossing. And uh, it's the whole width of the path, and I'm not telling how many feet long, you know, but when you get to the end of the path, there's the, uh, an old uh, Chevrolet Bel Air four-door model uh, car out there in the woods. If you kind of go back to some of my earlier videos, you'll see uh, me riding that path. deer running out through there. Now just crossing the creek, go back home.